OK, it's Mr Omari here with part 5, which is consequences for collisions. And we're also going to look at sounds here, and we're going to look at introducing new objects. So there's a fair bit going on here. You might need to watch it a couple of times. So what I'm going to do is I would like a sound effect. So I'm going to create a sound, and then I'm going to go up here to this folder. I'm going to Actually, I'm going to call this Collide. Um, and I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to import a sound. So. I've looked in the resources folder and I'm going to make it a uh, glass break. So there we go and I've imported that uh, and I hit OK. So there's the sound to choose from. So now player object. I'm going to make a new event for the player object. I'm going to say when it collides with enemy object. So first thing that I'm going to say is from main 2 in sounds I'm going to pop that in there and it's going to say what sound collide and I'm not going to make it loop I'm just going to have it go once so let's say OK and let's run this and we'll add the the other conditions in a minute so we're waiting for it to compile and what I'm expecting is that when I hit a shark it will make a sound so let's see whether that happens oh man that's a very unpleasant sound OK well that's definitely got to go so that worked. wasn't a sound that I liked, so I'm going to go and edit that collide sound. I'm going to import something new. I'm going to make it a cat. And OK. And let's not run it quite yet, but now we're expecting a different sound. So let's go back to the player object and let's make something else happen. When, so when it collides, it's going to play that sound. Um, and what else can it do? And it's going to move the player to a random location. So I'll drop that in. Applies to self. Yes and it moves it to a different location. So let's have a go at that, OK, and let's run the game. And again, this is what I'd encourage you to do. Make a little change, run the game again. OK, here we go. Now we're expecting the cat noise. And when I got hit, I moved to somewhere else on the screen. OK, that's fairly annoying. So. Let's make something else happen as well, just to make the game a bit interesting. So, when I hit the object, it plays a sound, I jump to a different location, and it creates a moving object. And in fact, it's going to create another enemy object. So, we say OK to that. So, every time I hit a shark, it's going to make a new shark. Actually, you know what I didn't look? So, where's it going to be? Let's make it at 200-200. Now, it doesn't need a speed and a direction because it's actually got those those virtues itself. OK, so we OK, and let's run again. OK, so off we go. I get hit, and now I've got a third shark. I get hit, and I've got another shark. OK. Now, your game will obviously be a bit more involved with this, but that's how you can have consequences happening when you have a collision. You might want to make it bounce off a wall if it hits it. Um, the reason I'm adding new sharks is that all these sharks tend to come together in a group after a while, and so I'm adding new sharks so that they won't 